Hello, everybody. Good evening. Thanks for coming to this activity. My name is David Perez. I'm from Costa Rica, first time in Detroit. So thank you all. So what I'm going to talk today is a little bit about ETCD or ETCD. A couple of concepts that are important to understand the performance of ETCD, throughput and latency, how to benchmark ETCD with the benchmarking tool that comes with ETCD, and some remediation and tips in case we face that problem. So first of all, what's ETCD? Uh, ETCD is a distributed key value store for storing critical information, critical data for a distributed system. Uh, you can use it for anything, but it's probably most known for being core component of Kubernetes. And you don't actually talk to etcd, et right, with your applications, but that is part of the Kube API server functions to talk to etcd to store and retrieve the Kubernetes cluster state. So even though you don't directly uh, speak or talk to the etcd, you can still see issues there. Uh, these are two examples that I saw. One from the etcd log that says that a request took too long to complete, and some other logs in the Kube API server saying that there were some uh, heartbeats that were missed, uh, indicating that their server is likely overloaded. But what is exactly to be overloaded in etcd terms? So we need to understand two concepts, throughput and latency. And we understand uh, latency as the um, time taken for an operation to be completed. And throughput, the number of operations that are completed in a period of time. So in single terms, you can see latency uh, as how fast an operation is completed and throughput, how uh, much data or how many operations are completed in that period of time. So about the benchmark tool that I was talking about, etcd has uh, a known benchmark tool, as you're seeing here on the screen, that you can actually easily configure. You can give uh, many arguments to the CLI and do m different kind of uh, testing against etcd. And to, to make a quick demonstration here, I put on the top side of the screen some uh, requirements, and the part above it is the, um, the information from etcd documentation, they did, they did a benchmark on those requirements, and I took them, but I changed the, the disk. Uh, I'm using a hard drive disk in the part uh, below. And when we do the benchmark, we can notice that we don't have that much difference when we are using one connection and one client, but when we go distribute it, with uh, a thousand of clients and, and hundreds of connections, we start seeing a lot of difference in the throughput, re the request per second, and also in the latency. Also for the read uh, information, we see a similar thing, right? A similar case that with one single connection, there's not much big deal, but when we go um, with multiple clients and multiple connections, we start seeing problems in throughput and latency, especially on-prem, right? So when you face this, what, what can you do to remediate this? So first of all, when, when you're designing a, a system, make sure that if, if you can design and have ahead on time the number of requests that your application is expecting so that you don't overload etcd. Also try to avoid HDD at all. But if you cannot do it because you cannot afford it because the cluster is already there, make sure that the HDD is at least 15K RPM. And also, there's something you can do. You can configure with tools like Ionize the disk priority. So etcd takes priority right into disks and also tune some etcd settings like the um, Harvey timeout, the election timeout, so you don't overload the server. And also there are some more tools like the disk benchmark, FIO, and also the node conformance from Kubernetes that will help you address more issues rather than just the benchmark for etcd. So I went ahead and did a change, just changing the HDD to SSD. And we can see here the big difference that we have now. 
the same cluster but using solid state drives. We can see that the requests per second of throughput goes actually double, which is good. So doing a quick recap, if you want to know more about benchmarking ETCD, especially on-prem, you can see the operations guide in the documentation and the performance section. Also, there's a gist there with some scripts you can use to create your own three-member ETCD server, and it will also give you some commands to do benchmark if you want to test it more. So that's my information. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, and have a nice day.